From the NFL playoffs to college basketball, welcome to Columbus, Ohio, where top-ranked Michigan State set to go against Ohio State with Bill Raftery. I'm Andrew Catalan, Michigan State number one in the land. They've won 14 in a row, but hostile territory today here in Columbus. And right now, Andrew Catalan. The Buckeyes go a little man, man, a little double screen early to get Bridges going to the box. And Bridges will take the first shot of the game and connect. He does have some variety, this kid. Can bang with the bigs and a little finesse with the little guys. Fifth in the Big Ten, averaging just under 17 points per game. He used to have a body like that, I think. He's three years old. <laughs> Maybe Bridges the rebound. He had six boards in the win over Maryland on Thursday. Jackson for three. It's good. He can shoot it. He had five the other night from deep. Amazing facility to put it on the deck and beat you inside as well. He's now nine of his last ten shooting, and we have a whistle. The officials today, Terry Weimer. Terry Oglesby and DJ Karstensen. See Tom Izzo. Here's his starting lineup. Same five that he's been rolling with. And for Ohio State, it's CJ Jackson getting another start at point guard. And Langford got the little hole there on a little scissor cut off the top. And this kid is a gamer. Chris Holman, boy, they got very fortunate in this particular hire. First Ohio State coach ever to win his first three Big Ten games. And the Buckeyes are on the board. It's Keita bates Dia. Uh, this kid has really found his game. There's so many areas of the floor he can dominate. And they like to isolate him in the mid post. Good crowd today here in Columbus. Winston, nowhere to go. Back out to Langford. They've gotten away with one, too. Now Jackson. Over Bates Diop, no good. Jackson, the offensive board, and throws it off Bates Diop. What, what a heavy play! Great hustle play. That's when he'll normally convert that close to the rim. And this is what makes it difficult. They can slip a lot of people into that box area, really put a lot of pressure. Heads up. Tom Izzo told us at practice yesterday they want to feed Jackson down low today. That's one of their keys against the Buckeyes. Well, his length is just incredible. The master there. He's got himself 10 deep. The physicality he really values and the strength up front. Extremely impressive for Michigan State. Nice denial. Jackson right to the hoop. All the blocks for two. How about that? Wesson coming over a little bit late, but I don't know why Diop gambled out that far. Easy entree to the 10. Jackson has five of the Spartans, seven points. H. Diab, step back jumper, and it's good. And they just did that little slice cut to get him into that box area. He can put it on the deck as well, setting his guy up for that maneuver. Bridges will launch from deep, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Cam Williams. You know, as well as Bridges makes that jumper, Andrew, I'd rather, instead of beating me up inside, let him take it. Chris Holtman, first time he's ever coached against Tom Izzo. He said as a young coach, he used to buy Izzo's DVDs about coaching tips, and now he's excited to go against him for the first time. Now he's going to be doing his own DVDs <laughs> at some point in his career. Signed an eight-year contract to be the Buckeyes head coach. A little cross screen to get the big to the box. Ward, nice job by Wesley doing his homework early. Seven to shoot. Nice step to him. <laughs> a little lingerie on the deck. The little guy with a game. Heck of a student, too. That yeah, was accepted and could have played at Harvard. Mm -hmm. Elected to stay close to home. The Detroit native now in his sophomore season. That was my safe school. Yes, me too. They do a great job of using side to side. Make you play some defense. Tate, a great guy off the bounce. Here's the freshman Wesson turnaround too strong. Bridges through traffic. Too much there, and now the Buckeyes the other way. Oh, too Tate. much. It's too much. 
for an attacking block, but it comes down low to Ward, and he's fouled. I think Diop on the rear there. Boy, high. Voltage here. All right, That's some of the keys for the Buckeyes. Now, these today. aren't mine. These aren't mine. Easy twos make them really work at it. Threes or uh, the ability to get back in transition. I think that's so much uh, value as the ability to score in that particular area. Uh, Chris Holtman said he did not sleep very much the last few days trying to figure out a way to attack Michigan State. He called them one of the most complete teams he's seen in a long time. And he may be right, no question about it. I had a sleepless career. <laughs> Thinking of teams like this. Big thing on offense is get a good shot so you got some balance. McQuaid into the game for Michigan State. And Jackson's got a value to basketball, doing a much better job running the point. Wesson, turn around. There you go. A little softer. He likes to use that bounce. I just like the way Weston is playing Ward. He's on the top side, getting there early, prepared to take away the duck end. Matt McQuaid on the floor, the ability to shoot the ball. He's also a good offensive rebounder. You've got to stay at home as they are now. It's four on four. Three from Nairn won't go. Ward is going to be called for over the back. And we have a timeout on the floor. Michigan State out to an early five-point lead. Back in Columbus, time now for our AT&T Fast Analysis. But Tom Rizzo must be a charmer because you got a player like this. He's unselfish. Only eight shots the other night against Marlon, but Miles Bridge is just a solid feel for this game. A little cross screen, the opportunity to kick it out, compliment, or be complimented by the stick by Jackson. Bridges was on the Jim Rome show on CBS Sports Network this week, and Rome asked him why he came back. He said he loved his teammates. We were very close with Joshua Langford and Tum Tum there, and also said we have a great chance to win a national championship. Why not come back and try to do that? And he's such a pleasant young guy. He's always got a smile, great leadership capabilities. Had a chance to have a sit down with him last week, and just loves being a part of it. There goes that little Duke, little bounce to the floor that Michigan State does as well. Where's Mojo when you need him? <laughs> Pin down, ISO. Bates nice. Diop. Oh, and Jackson got a piece of that one. Out of bounds. It will stay with Ohio State. And this is what I love about Diop. He just moves in a different, little slow down hesitation. Then the ability to blow by. Negated at the burn. Shot clock at 16 for Ohio State. They've won seven of their last eight games. Jackson's jumper is good. Got to be ready for that. You know the out of bounds. And that was one of the other keys. Baseline out of bounds for Chris Holtman. Set pieces like they talk in soccer. Look at this. Tough shot, though. Schilling on the offensive glass. Had it taken away. And he's so big and tough. He's got to control that and finish the deal. Nice entry. Wesson, not this time, can't find the touch. See, somebody's got to get a passing lane for him as well. Nobody went to the corner. A little kick out open opportunity. I think Bridges can do some damage inside. I know he likes to be out here. He's got Tate on him. He knows he can elevate. Long two is off the mark, and Jackson, the junior out of Charlotte, brings the ball up the floor. Jackson had early foul trouble Thursday against Iowa, and it was Andrew Dockett who picked up the slack in his absence. You know, really knows how to play Andrew. Heady kid. Didn't get it at home, but he's a smart player. <laughs> you can get the CBS Sports app for inside access to your favorite teams. Watch highlights, breaking news, scores, and more. Download the CBS Sports app today. And the more we get around these coaches, both of them, the amount of time that they spend with these players, are totally involved with everything about their lives and you know, the harmony and family aspect that they foster. And speaking of, Andrew gets an opportunity, really gets them organized, sound, doesn't turn it over, and can bite you once in a while when they need it. Michigan State started four out of six. Since then, they're 0 for 5. Langford trying to end that streak. He can't. Tipped around, and Bates Diak comes away with it. 
This is where he's tough. Rebound and push. Not afraid to take it right to the goal, too. Tate muscling his way for two. Nice entry pass by Jackson. A little kiss. They shot. McQuaid lost a handle on it. Bates D off to the floor and hands off to Potter. A 6-0 run. Buckeyes have a chance to take the lead here. It's going to go. How about that for touch? Nothing like emotion. He's got to be solid. First lead of the game for the Buckeyes. And Doc, a foul. Dockage on that dribble handoff. They've got to do a good job in that dribble exchange. But it's just a terrific entry and then the ability to turn and finish with some strength inside, outside. Tate tastes great. And how about this? A little rat tat tat tap for the deuce, but Diop is a different player playing with confidence. Of course, damaged goods last year, unhealthy at the end of the year. And dedicated to having a terrific season thus far. Sprained his left shoulder in practice 10 days ago, and Chris Holtman told us he's not 100%, but he's almost there. A scoring drop for Michigan State of over three minutes. Nice back cut. A lot of contact, no call. There's Dockage. Smart, won't take chances. Jackson for three. And Ward. Is fouled going for the rebound. Yeah, Potter in there. And that was a good play by Doc because you give it to the big guy at the foul line. You're not so sure exactly what he's going to do with the bounce. You've got to be ready on the back cut, though. And McQuaid very good without the basketball. They came up empty. First and only meeting this season between Michigan State and Ohio State. Langford for three. That was the first double. Look at this hustle. Ward, they got numbers now. Five on four. Ward, the last one down. Bates D out for three. Yes! How about that confidence? And Dockage gives it up early. An 11 0 run for Ohio State. Spartans have missed their last eight shots. There's really need poise. We get it to the big guy. Oh, great double. That's the second double. They missed a shot and then a steal. His team leading 19th steal. Bates Diop coast to coast. No. Well, he can turn those burners up and blow by. And a foul is called. But what a run here for the Buckeyes. Now, if you like the experience of Caden Bates Diop, shown it all. A little nylon. He's healthy. And provide the big lift. Ohio State leads top ranked Michigan State 15 to 11 with Bill Raftery. I'm Andrew Catalan. Good buzz in this building right now. 11 straight points for Ohio State. Uh, Chris Holbrook couldn't be any happier. They're doing a great job getting good shots. Therefore, their transition D is good. But going inside with some power, a variety of people. Caleb Wesson, the big wide body, able to caress that baby in. And of course, the guy who can play bigger than his size, Tate. And how about a little curl? A rat -tat -tat and step out and make a bite. Diop, who has just played sensational basketball, is really taking over this team in this game. He set the tone for Ohio State this week. He said, we're not just here to play the number one team in the country. We came to beat the number one team in the country. And that was the attitude at practice, certainly when we were here yesterday with Ohio State. Well, they got their guy inside there. They didn't go to him. Jackson. Diop work at this end. There you go, give it to him. They'll go the other way on the clear out because he waited so long. And that's one of those cheap fouls you don't like to see. A guy of that talent, Jared Jackson, as he tries to post up in here, you can just see the little nickel dimers banging one another with regularity, and he pays for it. Almost concerned he got caught. First foul on the freshman, Jackson. Diop has nine points. The rest of the team is combined for six. They really run some nice stuff. A little pin down, lock low, mid range. Got a good look. And we have a whistle away from the ball before the shot by Winston. Another Potter, I think. 
It is on Potter. Number two, if I'm not mistaken. Second on the sophomore Potter out of Mentor, Ohio. Five team fouls now in Ohio State. So Wesson comes back in. Potter to the bench with two fouls. And they are lean up front up on the bench. And that's the concern. You got to rotate them as best you can. Weston's got to provide a solid play and don't give away cheapies. A little two three look here. No. Right back to Minimet. Five minutes and 15 seconds without a point for Michigan State. It's that dribble exchange you got to play. You go one to usually pay. Spartans have scored at least 90 in five straight games. Winston. <laughs> there you go. That'll get the Spartans out of their drought. The three makes it a one point game. Tom was saying that tastes good. Winston, 12th in the country, shooting 54% from deep this season. Patient, getting good looks. Package pretty good in the lane and finding people, too. Late. Four to shoot. Bates D out baseline. Right. And the he stepped, stepped out of bounds. bounds. No basket. He ran out of room. Pretty good effort by number 33, though. He's really comfortable right now. He's out. Getting some good, uh, yeah, no question about it. Got to get a smaller shoe size. Chris Holtman said he's starting to learn a little bit more about his team than he did at the beginning of the year. And one of the things they've discovered is Winston fires another three. He said they got to find Bates D out more. Mm -hmm. they, they, he's rolling right now and they want to use him. And he wants it too. A little pick and pop. Midway through the first half. Wesson for three, no good. His brother is going to be called for a foul down low. I don't know if they wanted that one. I think he might get the quick axe on that little lift. Feeling the emotion of the crowd. Thursday on CBS, catch Shamar Moore in a new episode of SWAT. Thursday, 10 9 Central, only CBS. Take his D up a blow, though. He just got some side eyeballs from Chris Holton on that jack. <laughs> Six team fouls now in Ohio State. Ward forces up a wild shot. He was looking for the foul. Weston did a great job standing tall, making himself bigger. Nice entry. Brother to brother. Everything but. How about the footwork? Got to finish that deal, though. That's your guy Ward pinned under the rim. He wears his emotion, doesn't he? Yeah. And he said one of the questions that he had about his team, how will we handle being number one? Now that we got that bullseye. On the road, too, yeah. you were saying, right? Yeah, no question. He's going to learn a little bit more about his team today. The two heavyweights having a lecture. And two guys that... We're from this area, Ward from Gehenna, Ohio, about eight miles away. Weston played at Westerville South. He was inducted into his high school's Hall of Fame on Friday night. With our budget, we wouldn't invite them to dinner. <laughs> nice switch back by Ward. Look at this pin. Wow. Around and out, and Ward the rebound. Got to finish those opportunities. Michigan State has missed 10 of its last 11 shots. Langford inside, and a foul. Boy, when you can put it on the deck, we all know he can shoot. He's got a pull-up game. Well, this is extraordinary. Taking the hit, looking for some of those options here. Wesson sort of strings it out a little bit. A terrific opportunity. Well, one of the things Langford has been working on is being a better two-way player, getting better on the defensive end. He, he's starting to get a lot of comparisons to Gary Harris, the former Spartan, mm -hmm. who's now at Denver. And he said, that's a comparison that motivates me, but in order to get to that level, I need to play both sides of the floor. That is high praise. He had a big game earlier in the week with Denver. Now it's the Buckeyes in a scoring drought of over three and a half minutes. They've missed their last five shots. And a great communication skills defensively. They, Nice shade down. Jackson marries it. Nice kick out by Wesson. Unselfish. I'd love to see Bridges go at guys a little bit more. Langford for three. It's good. He answers. Jackson. He 
820 to go first half number one Michigan State and against a Buckeyes team that started 3 and 0 in Big Ten play Good job Jallo went away from it, but Eventually they got it to the big guy guarded by Tillman yeah. and Wesley yeah. wins that battle. Why not? And when he's had some good shots didn't fall a couple of them Wesley's got to be careful he doesn't get tagged for one though Get a little tired Jallo, I think, a little bit late. Foul is on Jallo. We have a timeout here in Columbus. So I'm taking my time on my The music of Columbus's own 21 pilots as we take a look at our game summary for turnovers early for the Spartans. And they're going to be happy with the Ohio State too, valuing the basketball. Not getting to the free throw line yet, but they're getting good shots inside, particularly Wesley. Good opportunities. Michigan State can tighten up on the denial. Hit to the spot. Caleb Wesson is two for six from the floor. And the fouls adding up for the Buckeyes as Michigan State will shoot the rest of the half. Well, Wes has really been sound intellectually the way he's played defense. Lost all that weight to get ready for this season. A valuable commodity. Junior year of high school, Wesson weighed about 330. Now he's down to 270. He's lost 50 pounds. A reminder, Tuesday night, 9 Eastern, CBS Sports Network has some Big East action. 21st ranked Seton Hall. You know anything about Seton Hall? Not much. No. They deny me other than that. <laughs> they take on Marquette on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. How about Howard? 52. Amazing. Up profit. Unbelievable. And Seton Hall was down double digits again against Butler yesterday. Came back to win. So yeah. the Pirates looking good. Yeah, Butler's so tough. And tough at home in particular. Ooh, you got him. Yeah, now you don't. There's Tate, too strong, and Jackson clears. And Jackson's got to get it in there when the opportunity presents itself. Four lead changes in the first half. Right now, it's Michigan State by two. Well, oh, Bridges he, was open. He, he fell. Tate fell. Steps. Travel by Langford. Well, Tom Izzo said one of the things they've really been working on cutting down the turnovers. They only had seven against Maryland on Thursday, and they've already got five mm -hmm. here in the first half today. Yeah, part of it's the emotion, too. I mean, the Ohio State came out of the box ready to go. Wesson did a really good job ducking in. Give them room to bounce. And Wesson off the mark again. He's now two for seven. Now you force him a little deeper on the floor as Tillman did. It's a problem for him. And Tillman was in the way there. Bridges has been quiet in this half. Just two points on mm -hmm. one of five shooting. What a Wesson. Tough, tough pass. D up now will drive and doesn't get the roll. Wesson cleans it. How about that? A little belly bump get him to position. But a soft enough delivery by the Tom Izzo wanted a foul there on Wesson, doesn't get it. And now the freshman has six points. Wide open, good look. Jackson can't get it to drop though. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Buckeyes. I don't know why he saved it. Or tried to save it. I think it may have been their ball. <laughs> A hustle play by Jackson, but this is just look at this. <laughs> we got pushed further than that last night. <laughs> Trying to make our way for some lemonade. So it will be Michigan State basketball with 5:51 to go in the first half. I might say Tom was right on that call. Yeah, huh? I think he had a point. The old Tavern lead discard. Bridges straight away three. See, that's what happens when you don't get some shots. You end up 
And I'd love to see him attack a little more, post up a little more, use that physique to dominate. Tate takes the screen from Potter, nice. and Potter, if that's on him, that's his third. And a really well-designed play as well. And they are really tightening it up this year on this particular play. You can see him come over, and I don't know, thought he was standing still, and Bridges lost his balance somewhat, but a tough one against him. Sometimes you sell it, and it works. Third foul on Potter. He goes to the bench. This is an area of Ohio State does not have a lot of depth, as you pointed out earlier in the half, Raf. We'll see how they can manage this next couple. Kyle Young, a nice looking recruit. He's going to get a foul, too. He's holding on. He's going to make sure he checks out Ward. <laughs> Bridges continues to struggle. He's now one for eight. Jackson attacking. And Ward comes in to grab the rebound. And they got to get back. They have numbers here. This is where they are tough. Bridges yeah. for yeah. two and the foul. The little kick out. They are amazing, whether it's on a make or a miss, of shortening the floor and giving the big guys an opportunity. Look at this body avoiding that set up for a charge. Just heady play. Power personified attacking the rim. Trying to get himself going after what's been a slow first half. Leads the Big Ten in free throw percentage at 89%. He caps off the three-point play. Now you do a lot of football. Is that a tight end body? Oh, goodness. Good question. Chink. 6'7", 230. Miles Bridges out of Flint, Michigan. A little bit of a flex look now. Down screen, cross screen, and a pick and pop here. There you go. HD up for three. Good. What a play by Jackson. Big simple by the big fella getting available. He's got a dozen, and we are tied again at 25. This is where they can get some damage done, I think, is there four against four. Get Ward to the box. Good entry. Jackson in the flush. It's really basically a shell drill now. They're hugging the shooter deep in the corner. Matt can really knock him down, so you got to pay attention to him. Four minutes to go, first half. Bates Diop has a dozen. The rest of the Buckeyes have combined for 13 points. Ten on the shot clock. Williams. And that's his game. He can be streaky, but boy, quick release. Little bounce and knock down. Senior out of Baltimore, Maryland. First bucket of the game for Williams. This is where Iowa State's been solid. And you got the steps. Oh, wow. Wow. This is not like it. Back and forth we go here in Columbus, Michigan State, and Ohio State tied at 27. Back in Columbus, coming up on at and at the half, Adam Zucker, Seth Davis, first half analysis, and they'll update you on the rest of the goings-on in the college basketball world. Coming up on at and at the half, and what a day it was yesterday. In the top 25, nine ranked teams losing. It's unbelievable how, I think even, if you don't play your best, and we see that here right now, Michigan State not playing their best, so they're susceptible. Not gonna have it, Oklahoma, West Virginia. Very young. Something special. Uh, didn't shoot as well. They eight for 22 with that great, tenacious West Virginia defense. But you know the Florida game was steal by Chios. <laughs> uh, Clark Kellogg was here earlier. We were chatting about it. He adores that kid as I do. I and mean, what a gamer he is. Great win for the Gators yesterday on CBS. Nice job getting side to side in the centerpiece right here. I love how he can use the bounce too and be creative. Three on the shot clock. Jackson has to put it up. He does, and it's no good. Ward another rebound. That's seven rebounds for Nick Ward. And tucked him on the floor now. Speeds things up. Very unselfish. Can break a little bit with a shot here and there. And going to shot well against 
Merlin on the floor as well. He can make the deep jumper if you leave him. Not a good play. Great foul by Young. Seventh turnover by the Spartans. Bates Diop off the front of the rim. No good. And Michigan State comes away with it. They have numbers if they hurry. And Tum Tum will bring it back out with 2.20 to go. Good nice play by Jackson, too. A deterrent. Nice pop. Goins. That rebound for Langford. Now McQuaid launches. Michigan State just can't get it to go. Better shots the last couple of trips, though. Jackson runner. Nice run of the floor. Who are they going to give it to? It's uh, Goins. Goins. Yeah. You pay for having a big, strong body on occasion. Uh, but right here's just a little bit of a floater in the underneath. No question about the bang in Big Ten, especially. Well, Michigan State came in leading the country, shooting 53% from the floor. Today, 33% so far. You might say the defense has been pretty good by Ohio State, though. Jackson. Oh, that's going to count. Now, you don't see that happen that often. Just a simple little dribble. No communication. Ward, big at the rim, but tardy. Individual containment. Not as good as you expect to see with Michigan State. Now, Ward grew up, as we mentioned, eight miles away in Gahanna, Ohio. When he came here last year, he really struggled. Three turnovers as Langford connects. He was trying to do too much in front of his family and friends, and that was a bit of a concern again today for Tom Izzo with Ward's. Trying to, a lot of 44 jerseys in the stands. Trying to prove it, right, that yeah. they should have recruited me? That's right. How about that pull-up by Langford? There's Young. Man, that's no good. Final 90 seconds of the first half. Boy, good corral job there. Nice help. Diop, yeah. give it up. Bates Diop. And it goes. <laughs> Well, these are the keys Chris Holtman said in order to pull the upset. So far, so good, Bill. And no question about it. They're able to score in transitions as we just saw. And runouts like this will certainly make you uncomfortable. A little rake job. And Diop, the beneficiary. The steal, of course, and the heady play. Dockage finds number 33 in your program. A little cradle. And they're sending it. He is playing solid basketball. All starts with that great D. Five ties, five lead changes here in the first half. And Langford took too many steps. Well, Chris Holman at Butler, they did a great job defensively. He's taken that here. You can see the show and the recovery by DF. That is just terrific coordination. And then the rat tat tat of puppies. They give a warning for moving out of it. And it wasn't for Chris, like one of the assistants, if I'm not mistaken. Final minute of the first half. Buckeyes lead top right Michigan State by two. Tate, position, and two more. Very comfortable at the box. Tate shot. That'll attack. Jackson spinning. Tied up, and he lost it. Numbers. Williams left open. And he nails it.
This place is on fire, and so is this team. They got a T, I guess. Yeah, technical foul has been called on Michigan State. Had to be on top yep. because he was up near half court and out on the floor. And this may be a way of generating his team, awakening them somewhat. Ohio State taking the fight to them. Let's see what number one has. A 9-0 run for Ohio State, capped off by the two free throws off the technical on Tom Izzo. This is going to get him revved up for halftime. Final 10 seconds of the first half. Winston, no good. Four Ten seconds to go. Dockage at the buzzer. Yeah! Yes! The number one team in the country, Michigan State, down by a dozen at the half to Ohio State. Back with Bill Raftery. I'm Andrew Catalan. This is the largest deficit of the season for the Spartans. Buckeyes ended the half on a 12-0 run. It's shocking, really, when you think of it. But Ohio State's played terrific defense, and they value the basketball. This isn't quite what I had in mind as an I.O. but it'll have to do. The ability to rake and do a job and just be up on all ends of the floor has been on top. His performance has been sensational. Look, send it in at the end, but he's been available. Really does a nice job. They also ISO for him in a solid way, but the other end, not typical of Michigan State. I look for them to value the ball a little bit better. This half, nine turnovers. It's just not their style of play. Although they do average 14 a game, but they've got to do a solid job and change that eye opener to a more pleasing one. Well, let's take a look at the Buffalo Wild Wings first half stats. You mentioned the turnovers. They only had seven on Thursday night against Maryland, and it's Bates Diop leading the way for the Buckeyes with 16 points. And that field goal percentage, a terrific job generally by Tom Izzo's guys holding you down. 30 in the 30s. I'm sure it was a pleasant locker room. Oh, goodness. Just, just me and the team, please. That's one of those. You get your chaplain out first. But, uh, you know, it'll be more strategic, I think, than that. He's been down the road before. He only trailed once at the half all year. It was the loss to Duke. Let's see if they make a Pretty comeback here. Oh, it's Cam Williams. What a great design at a halftime. That's an eye opener. It sure was. Wesson outside. You don't expect him to make that kind of an entry pass, but a little step and go. This is what I would expect. More inside power. I mean, they're just too good around that rim. And there is the foul called on the Buckeyes. They do a lot of dribble exchange, and this is set up for you. You think you're coming this way. Well, pull the string and go hard. What a great design. And an accomplished finish. Bang! With a little hammer. So Jackson goes to the line. The foul was on Caleb Wesson. That's his second. Tomorrow, it's a can't miss Colbert. Stevens got Michael Wolf, author of the explosive new White House book, Fire and Fury. Plus, Liam Neeson, new Colbert tomorrow. Jackson makes a pair, 43-31. The freshman Jackson has nine points. This is where they've made their name as being tough on the defensive end, forcing a tough shot and rebounding, getting some runouts, Michigan State. Counter that with some solid play in ISOs. They got it on the other side if they want it. Wesson calling for it. And before the shot, they're going to say both. Wow! How about that? And 
Scooney. One of the great players here in the history of Ohio State, Scooney Penn. Now involved with the personnel. And a little knockdown jumper and a small change on the rim on McQuaid. Yeah, coming into the game, Cam Williams tied for fifth in school history with Brent Darby and Scooney Penn, but now he's past Scooney, and we were teasing Scooney about it yesterday. He said, hey, only one more, and he's going he's gonna to pass you. He said, I was only here two years. Why, why can't they count my years at BC? Well, they, in his mind, he will. <laughs> So he, he owns a barber shop here on campus. He was trying to recruit you to go exactly. down. Exactly. Yeah. Gave me a deal. Nice roll right there. And a set play. Something that they talked about yesterday. They do a wonderful job screening and slipping. And just a little. Occasionally you'll go one way, come back the other. Just a great day. Just solid play. Cross screen and again, Scooty. Almost like he's counting receipts. <laughs> if they win, maybe free haircuts this week. Bridges flies in for two. And they got a foul. And the foul. Ward. Oh, no, wait a minute now. Yeah, this is going to go on Ward. Tom Izzo is hot again. Second foul on Nick Ward. Uh, see after the play though, so they do score the goal and something you don't need if you're Nick Ward. 49-33 is our score just over a minute into the second half. Michigan State's won 14 games in a row, but in trouble here on the road in Big Ten play against the Buckeyes. He loves to bounce, the little baby hook too. Nice step through. Oh, pretty! Goodness! Get the janitor out! Uh, the lead in number three. That's tough. This is what I expected more of the first half. Just keep powering inside. They don't have the depth. And just look at this little step through. Goodness, some lingerie lingering big time. Whew. That is solid. Early in the game, he missed a number of those opportunities. Weston stays in with the third foul. They got to go right at him. Ward does a wonderful job loading up. Winston blocked by Bates Diop. And oh. Jackson knocked it out of bounds. Almost a steal. Uh, being in the right spot to do some damage. You get some solid contributions from this guy all game long. Diop. He leads the team in blocks. Now 27 on the season. They've really been patient. Spacing properly. A little bump inside. Now a load up. Wesson and Ward again. Nice flip. And a turnover. Here comes Winston. Williams trying to get back. Winston scoops it in. Oh, nice little hand in there, swiping away that started it off. Seven points for Cassius Winston. Great crowd here in Columbus today. Looking to see an upset on their home floor. There's that little slice cut they run to get either go over the top or get him to the box. Diop. And this is where he's tough. A couple of feet off that box. Turn, turn and face. And there's the foul called on Jackson. That's his second. It's just a tough matchup for people because of all the areas of the floor, not only does he cover uh, the ability to dribble it, the space out on a pop, or just load up big time and use his individual talents. Ohio State only went to the line two times in the first half. Bates Diop has 19 points coming off a career high 27 in the win over Iowa on Thursday. Well, the emotion they have in this building, amazing. Tonight on CBS, she is close to Vladimir Putin and one of the most powerful women in Russia. Don't miss a fiery interview. Plus, can murder be predicted? An experimental computer program is trying to do just that tonight on 60 Minutes. One out of two for Bates Diop, and a foul is called on Jay Sean Tate. That's his first.
Got to go low at some point with the pass. And Bridges has really not been able to do so much damage inside. Ward calling for it. Draws the double. Nice job. Tell you what, the rotation was great. Here's Bridges through the lane. No good. Offensive rebound. Ward. Potter got a hand on it, but a foul is called. I think it's Potter, too. Let's see. Yeah, it oh is. Well, he's not been able to play much. He thought he was standing tall. But the great penetration, that really breaks you down. You don't get an inside position to check out. And thus the giveaway. And Raph, that's number four on Potter. And that was something Tom Izzo highlighted in our chat with him. They don't have, and we'll try to get it inside, get him in foul trouble. And now that recipe is starting to come to fruition for Michigan State. And we're going to see Young for that reason. They got away from their game, no question, in the first half. But I think they got rattled in motion here. So Potter goes out with four. And Kyle Young, the freshman, back into the ball game. Only averaging 10 minutes per game this season. Yeah, he's, yep. he's tough though. Yeah. Rebounds, hustles, loose balls. Chris Holtman told us that he sensed an added excitement in practice the last couple days with number one Michigan State coming to town. Certainly playing like that so far today. Tate guarded by Bridges. Tate. What's that battle? Take it over. Tayshawn, his bag of tricks. I'd go inside. Young is five inches smaller than Ward. Tate goes to the ground hard behind the run. play. And now a whistle, but Tate is hurt. He's grabbing his right shoulder. It's his left shoulder that he sprained 10 days ago in practice. And now he's trying to loosen up the right shoulder. He's a tough kid, but the, the run out pretty darn good. And that's where he got hurt. We got it caught pretty good. Nothing dirty, almost incidental contact in this league. Anyhow. How about the catch by Diop under the rim? Great hands. Yeah. And then back at the line, Kato Bates Diop. Foul was on Jackson. That's his third, and now he'll come out of the game. And Tate is going to get a breather as well. Andre Wesson che checks back into the game for Chris Holtman's team. Well, you need your big time to step up when you're playing a team of this caliber. Diop certainly has done that. A 20-point lead for Ohio State. Blankford cuts it down to 18. And a nice little curl, turns if you come up. Big guy shows the dump down for the lob. A dozen for Joshua Langford. Got to get it back over to Diop. Jackson instead launches a three. Yes. How about this? A guy that was a shooting guard playing point in a sound fashion. And now they get Young on Ward in the low box area. Cleaning it up. Timeout with 15.30 to go. Michigan State trying to make a comeback, but the Buckeyes looking good. We're back with our AT&T fast analysis and Bates Diop pacing it with 22 points. And you can just see three on the left tie everybody up. And of course that ball screen and re-screen and just let them know you're in the house. And boy, the emotion, the level in this building has surfaced once again as it did against Michigan early in the year when they were down big. And this kid's put this team on his shoulder and everybody else has responded in kind. And Michigan State, which came in leading the country in several statistical categories. Well, today, how about the assists? Only seven. That's a masterful defense and maybe some quick jacks and not really a defined offense by Michigan State. Thursday night, they had 30 assists on their 32 made field goals. Bridges, tough shot. I like him going to the goal, though. He does have that ability with either hand. 
He's only four of 13 today. Bridges has nine points. We need him to pull off this comeback. Well, they've been sound. They've been hit by slip here. That's his job right there. Ten feet away, away from the hole, either with the back to the basket or the face up. 24 for Bates Diop. Moving closer to a new career high. Let's see if they ride Bridges a little bit. It's Nairn. Punched away by Williams. Nairn, Nairn gets it back. Good job by Williams. Goins misses it close in the rebound to Bates Diop, and he's fouled. I think McQuaid on the reach here. We can just see off Kilto pressing the issue right now by Michigan State. But a relentless defense by this club. A nice little find, and all of a sudden, not able to come up with a clean. Second foul on Matt McQuaid. Six team fouls now for the Spartans in the second half. Ohio State's been hot from beyond the arc. They've made six of their last eight from deep. Jackson. And Young turns it over. Nice hand. What a steal. A Jackson runner. up ahead. A little too excited there for C.J. Jackson, but Ohio State still has it. Just got to relax and slow it down. Reads no. Diop. <laughs> he lost it actually in his hand. Chaos. They can do no wrong. Goodness. Reigning supreme. And a foul. It is called on Cam Williams with 13.21 to go, but it's wild in this building it right is, now, Rav. It's shaky a little bit and incredible. This is what actually goes back on his palm. A little kiss, a little love, the number 33. Well, they have it going, and it's going their way. So both teams will shoot free throws the rest of the half with 13.21 to play. I like to see Winston and Langford now calm their club down, get into the right spots. They got a five-second violation. Well, not much else can go wrong, can it? Turnover number 11 for Tom Izzo's team. It's amazing. Watch him against Maryland. Flawless. And here, just shattered somewhat psychologically. They came in having won five straight by at least 30 points. Nice footwork. Close to being down by 30 here in Columbus. Out of bounds to the Spartans. Got to squeeze it. Pretty good opportunity for Young. Substitutions. Substitutions for Michigan State, Nairn, and Jackson comes back in. Jackson's got the three fouls. Yeah, Chris knows this game is far from over. you got to be solid. Rest your guys. This one to get D up a little blow as we go to the media timeout. And they're trying to get Dockage in now. Inside, that's your strength. Largest lead today for Ohio State. Trying to go to 4-0 in Big Ten play. And they've got some good minutes without Wesson on the floor, and then they go right at him. Pretty. Boy, that looks easy, doesn't it? That's the recipe, fellas. Jackson's got 11 into double figures for the 13th time this year. Nice show. Oh, Nair to the crowd, and Jackson nails it. A little ankle break. Winston for three. Pretty Quaid, no, on the putback. Good hustle, just didn't finish it. Ohio State shouldn't be in a hurry now. Get a good one. They've been patient. Look at this opportunity. That's Wide it. open. Well, they got to be a foul, yeah. And McQuaid was fouled going for that loose ball rebound, and that takes us to a timeout. CJ Jackson. 
Well, the kid who is not a point guard, but a little shaky bait. Pick up the pieces, darling. And George Graffio has, well, he's been on that road for 45 years. But we want to congratulate George, who's going to retire. This is his last basketball game. He's worked countless Super Bowls, Final Fours, Olympics, Masters, U.S. Opens, you name it. All of us at CBS Sports thank George for his four decades of excellent work. We wish him a happy retirement. He's the best. Always happy. Great to be around. Stirs up a little problem here and there. <laughs> problem right now for Michigan State, and that is here in Columbus as the Buckeyes have been lights out. They lead it 65-42. Good luck to George Taylor. Hope he has a ball playing golf. He's gonna have to count his strokes down. Oh, take that shot. McQuaid for three. And the rebound to Tate. Nice shot by Young, keeping Jackson off the rim. Ohio State 9 out of 12 shooting in this second half. They have kept their foot on the gas here against Michigan State. And a little leave and a run out with the big wide body. Inside. Look again, the swipe. They get Jackson with mm -hmm. it, though, huh? Yeah, that's number four. I think Jackson thought he got all ball. They're in the lineup right now. Dangerous in a sense. You don't have the prolific outside game. And of course, the post up of Diop. Put a little nickel dimer on a big fella. What a talented kid he is. And of course, being around a wonderful father, 13 year pro, his dad, Georgetown grad, 89. He was there. They lost to Duke in the Regional final in 89. Yeah. Won an NBA title with the Spurs. Yeah, a ring. There's Morning and Dikembe were on that team, I think, at Georgetown. Free throw, no good. Oh, he's on the floor now with four. Use it. There you go. Good spacing by Tayshon. He's got him again. Timing has really been off a little bit by Michigan State. Bridges with six on the shot clock. Bridges, jumper. <laughs> and it's the freshman, Jallo, skying in for the rebound. Bridges is four out of 14 from the floor. Boy, everybody is committed. Really been committed to doing a good job. What a pass here in the cut. Tayshaun Tate is a great cutter. He always finds a hole. And the big fella with the peak and delivery. Bridges for three. It's good. And one thing about this Michigan State team, they're not going to go down quietly. No. There's a lot of grit on Tom Izzo's bench right now. And they're going to fight to the bitter end in this one. Yeah, they try to step it up there. A little foot court pressure. Ten minutes to go. Now they're really good wish up side to side. Look at the power now. If that's on Jackson, that's number five. I think it is just by his body language. Yep, you got it. Big loss for Tom Izzo Spartans as the freshman Jaron Jackson has fouled out with 9.49 to go. He had 11 points on the day. Well, the heart and soul of this program is this guy. His ability to drive, but also his understanding of cutting. He's just extraordinary. His timing, his ability to find a hole. And you can just see Tom Izzo not really happy. This team is not the same personality that he's been witnessing these last couple of weeks. Of course, the dad, just a solid guy. Saying the, the son loves being in this program, loves to be coached. So that coach, every once in a while, he may smile when you're chastising him. He can take it. McDonald's All-American, Jaron Jackson Jr. Done for the day. And the free throw goes for Tate. Wednesday on CBS, don't miss a powerful episode of the show critics say deserves a salute. All-new SEAL Team, Wednesday at 9, 8 Central on CBS. And we got Ward in the box area. It's a Michigan State team that averages 87 points per game. Right now, 45 with nine and a half to go. 
Nairn. Oh, what move. Tum Tum Nairn for two. Ohio State's doing to Michigan State what Michigan State did to Carolina. That's right. It just took them totally out of their game. Tate's so valuable because he can be a point forward, can post up, great off the bounce. There's that cut again. The kid's amazing. Well, if he caught it clean, he had a three-point play. They wave off the bucket and foul on the floor. Boy, this is a feel for the game. Just a real good understanding of time, when to get into that lane. The delivery and a little fumbleitis cost him. Third foul on Joshua Langford. And Tate back to the line. And he misses the front end again. Langford around and out and beats Diop there for the board. Well, that would have been tough goal, huh? No glass to use. See, this takes the pressure off Dockage, too. With Tayshawn able to run it. The last few possessions, they've been using a little more of the shot clock, too, yeah. like you suggested. Got to be careful with that off arm, too. A well rested Diop. Nearly turns it over. They're not giving up on plays, are they? Down to five. Tate's going to have to put one up. He does for three. And there's Winston for the rebound. We got Bridges up in the wing. Goes back over to Langford for three, right. and he drains it. And that's where they're at their best, I think. They had both lanes covered. 15 for Langford. The lead is 19 for Ohio State. And the game point, Chris Holman has been so solid with this performance. Even here, the doctor's off the ball a little bit. And then he gets a turnover, yeah. And that's why Tate's got to keep it. A little bit of pressure on him. 7.59 to go in the second half. Ohio State, and they're feeling it here in Columbus. In favor of Ohio State over number one Michigan State. Last year at Butler, Chris Holtman with the Bulldogs beat number one Villanova. How about this? The last coach to beat a number one team back to back seasons with different schools, Thad Mata. With Xavier, he beat St. Joe's in 2004, then came here to Columbus, and with the Buckeyes beat Illinois in 2005. How about that little nugget you picked up? And he has certainly made them uncomfortable. Uh, just solid basketball all game long. If I said to you, one team shot 52 and the other shot 38, would you think it would be reversed? Yeah, no question about it. The Michigan State team that has been firing on all cylinders, winners of 14 in a row. But it has not been their day today. Mm -hmm. They lost control of the game. They could have dominated, I think, early, particularly inside, pounded in. There was some substituting problems. That's all part of learning now. Bates Diop. This will give him a new career high, but it won't go. He has 26 points on 9 of 17 shooting. And much better job by Bridges. Got him out further by spin. Oh, Langford, great move by Langford. And that he can do. Then step it up here a little bit. Langford has 17. This is an adjustment for them either. They're not trying to slow it down. They've been doing this all game, been patient when they've had to be, but still running their stuff, so they're in sync. Left side wide open. Tate for three. Follows his shot. Winston, though, goes to the ground and picks it up. The fans want to travel. If he got up, it would have been. Bridges for three, and he quiets a few of those fans. 69-55, a 10-0 run. Well, you called it. They will not back off. And now some pressure. Inside, who's Diop or Wesson? There you go. How about that? What a give and go. Talk about a silencer. 
A new career high for Bates Diop. He's got 28 points. Offensive foul on Ward. Well, Weston, just not one of those pretty faces. Both ends of the floor, much to the chagrin of Tom. This is a little step and go, just really good, solid basketball. And bring it down. And leave those chandeliers. Damn. With some hops. And the third arm. foul on Ward, who had a few words with Tate after that last call. I'm sure they know one another. Yes. From the territory. With Ohio natives. Ohio State looking to run its record to 10 and 1 at home this year. They got the elevation there. Yeah, he wants to play. I don't blame him. Guarded by McQuaid. Beats Dia. Over oh, oh, right there. He knows. That's what you've got. Control of your team when you're a guy that good. How about that play? He didn't give up on that either. A little small change at the foul line. He is playing possessed. And this kid on top of his game. Now watch him chase. Come on, get out of there. And this is the boss. The Hefe. Stroke. Nylon. And at the other end, not giving up on anything. Even the opportunity for three. What a year it's been so far for Bates Diop. Leads the Big Ten in scoring. The average is going up now. He's got 30 points today. And this is a big time performance on a great stage. Great about college basketball, you don't know who's going to show up. Oh, Ohio State here. Right? Ohio State against Carolina, just not the same now. All of a sudden, invigorated, more reps in the gym, more time with Chris Holtman. First time since 1948, there has not been an undefeated team to start the month of January in college basketball. What's this going to say about the tournament conference? Tournament? <laughs> it's going to be wild. Jackson gets to the goal for two. They give them room to roll, and they possess it. 14 for CJ, Winston for three. Look at the hustle and scrapping. One checks out, Wesson. Dia cleans it up. Shot clock for Ohio State. Tate. And he's fouled with four minutes to go. And they have just ISOed and taken advantage with regularity. All Buckeyes here in Columbus. You have to go all the way back to 2007 to find the last time Ohio State beat the number one ranked team in the country. Mike Conley's runner with four seconds left gave the Buckeyes the win over number one Wisconsin. And who was on that team? Greg Oden, who is now a student assistant coach coming back to school to finish off his degree. It was actually fun watching it, wasn't it? Yeah, they practiced yesterday. yesterday. Uh, he still can do some things. They, they say he's great, to, great for the young people. You can just see his enthusiasm and fun personality. And well, they have played up to their level of excellence. No question about it today. Jay Sean Tate at the line to shoot two. That's an Ohio State team that came into the year with relatively low expectations. Chris Holtman was hired in June. Some players left, a lot of new faces. This team has come a long way since the start of November. And now, assuming they hold on here, they'll be tied for first in the Big Ten with Purdue with 4-0 records. Bridges. Tried to rush it a little bit. Watches saves it goes into the crowd. Bridges makes the catch. 
Now Winston for three. Oh, how about that? And Tom Izzo calls timeout. He showed some life. A dozen for Winston. The lead is 17 with 3.32 to play. We are back with our Jersey Mike's game summary. Bates Diop leading the way with a career high 30 points. You see the 12 turnovers and only 12 assists for Michigan State today. And they are so good with one another sharing the basketball, getting into the box and cutting. But uh, just tonight thrown off their game by an excellent game plan. Bates Diop has been the star of the show here for the Buckeyes. Well, he has been incredible. Uh, the simplicity of his game, no frills, just all solid. Feeling, understanding, uh, what to go without the basketball, who's guarding him to elevate, knock shots down. Just been consistent, and that's what you need from your A player. You know, just get on my shoulder, fellas. We're going to carry him. Had not had big games against Michigan State in his career. All right? Just changed in a hurry today. He's 11 of 19 shooting. He's also got seven rebounds. And you better pay attention to detail because Michigan State is standing on the floor right now. Probably run and jump on occasion if they get a trap situation. Let's get to the cross. Good handle against an excellent defender, too. Down to 10. You got to get into your stuff, though. Too much time left in this game. Nice cut again by Dion. Good <laughs> <laughs> shot. Uh, Tate complimented at what he does best there. The cut. Dion on the money. Bridges through traffic for two. Goodness. How does he get that white body through that little hole? 17 for Miles Bridges. Jackson again just crosses in time with less than two and a half to play. Nice little curl. Thought he was going to give it a dump down. Pocket five. Tate, he's got game in here. Around Langford, and he's fouled. That's at three on the clock. That's an advantage, Tate. I mean, he's, he's really a terrific low post player. Clever locking that pivot foot in. Brunson from Villanova does this in extraordinary fashion, but much smaller. But other than the lack of a finish, solid. Fourth foul on Joshua Langford. Tate back at the line. He's got 12 today. Earlier today, you saw the Jacksonville Jaguars defeat the Buffalo Bills. So the divisional round of the playoffs are all set on the AFC side. Join us next weekend, Saturday night, Tennessee at New England, 8.15 Eastern time. Starts with the NFL today at 7.30 Eastern. And then a 1 o'clock kickoff Sunday between Jacksonville and Pittsburgh. Hey, hey. A great time of year, isn't it? Well, the Jaguars already beat the Steelers in Pittsburgh earlier this year. They picked off Ben Roethlisberger five times. Good D is forcing them to use a little bit of clock. Winston's three is off the mark. Rebound by Wesson. Well, Raph, you look at Michigan State and Purdue at the top of the Big Ten. I think we got an injury back here. Yeah. We do. It's C.J. Jackson yeah. who's behind the play. I wonder if he got a cramp. Officials timeout. He has a move from that position. He's got 14 points today as we take another look. I don't really see any unless he came down wrong, yeah. What a fluky little. Yeah, and then he's trying to walk Ooh. off the floor here, but now he's stopped. He can't get a normal straight up stance, you know? Hmm. It's I, I think it's, what do you think? Cramps? I, that's not my guess. Been a big part of Ohio State in this streak where they've won seven of their last eight games. Yeah, got to get him some, well, get him some fluids, yeah. Man after my own heart. <laughs> and Ohio State calls timeout with 145 to go.
10, but Ohio State now emerging with a 4 0 conference record. And maybe this one will go a long ways in a couple months when we're talking about the tournament. I think you'd call this a signature win. And certainly it's going to enhance their portfolio, the resume. They really don't have a bad loss this year. Their four losses to Gonzaga, Butler, Clemson, and Carolina. Clemson is 14 and 1 this year. It's unbelievable. HD out for three. And Schilling gets the rebound with 120 to play. So they got one out of two there. They got it late in the shot clock. Didn't get the one to knock down. Goins. Well, he's worked on that shot. Well, he's dead on it. And I think they're backing it off a little bit now. The house fills it. One minute. One minute remaining. And Langford just fouled out. This will be Michigan State's first loss since November 14th. They lost the second game of the year to Duke. Have won 14 straight coming into, to, to, into today, but that streak is about to end here in Columbus. Now this is an eye opener for them. You know, we got to go back, establish our identity. Right, we live on being a great defensive team, a power team, rebounding, pushing the ball up the floor, having plenty of time to get it exactly where you want. But they, they had a buzzsaw today. This will be the third time this weekend that a top five team lost to an unranked team. And also a Duke losing to NC State. And Xavier falling against Providence. Izzo calls timeout. Our producer, Jonathan Siegel, director, Suzanne Smith, our entire CBS crew with Bill Raftery. I'm Andrew Catalan, and we're about to see number one go down as Ohio State has controlled this game pretty much from about, what, seven, eight minutes into the first half. They have not looked back, and they lead it by 18. What a weekend for the top-heavy programs, huh? Oh, my goodness. Ripe if you're not ready. I told you it would be the third top five team to lose this weekend to an unranked team. First time that's happened in a two-day span since January of 2002. And Schilling throws it down. You know, that timeout by Tom Izzo was a lesson. Yeah. You know, just chatting, but he brought them all in. and said, look, we're, we're going to go home and get this straightened out. And hats off to Ohio State and their coaching staff. Just magnificent preparation. Clark Kellogg is sitting home right now. He should be sitting. Yeah, that's right. He's got the grandchildren. Yeah. Got his legs up there. He's really so proud of these kids. They just played a great, just did a great job. Final five seconds. And Ohio State knocks off number one. Eighty to sixty-four, the final. Bates Diop leading the way with a career-high thirty-two points. How solid was he from the beginning? Well, you want your big-time performer to step up and lead the charge. He certainly did. Heck of a job by Chris Holtman in his first season as Ohio State head coach. Buckeyes are tied for first with a four and zero record in the Big Ten. For Bill Raftery, this is Andrew Catalan saying so long from Columbus. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and is followed by Wisdom of the Crowd, NCIS Los Angeles, and Madam Secretary. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports. Ohio State knocks off top-ranked Michigan State. Good night from Columbus.